Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys something special. I've got the uh, ceramic version of the Apple Watch uh, Series 5, 44 millimeter. This right here, it, uh, before tax, it's a $1,400 watch at Apple. And so, uh, and uh, if you break this watch, Apple will repair it for you, but for a whopping $800. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys how we, uh, how we repair that so I can save this customer hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Here I've, uh, we're at uh, my repair course. We've been fixing uh, Apple Watches for the last few days. And uh, so uh, let's get started. All right, so yeah, here we've got series five, 44 millimeter ceramic Apple watch. This is valued at over $1,400. And the cost to repair this with Apple is over $800 after tax. So uh, yeah, let's get started on this repair. First thing we're gonna do is try to see if we can find if one of these shards that's loose. And I think that this one here, yeah, that one's moving. Let's see if I can pick at it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna pick out this, this glass shard and I'm gonna remove any of the glass shards that I am able to remove without damaging the force touch or the digitizer and display. Now a lot of this video is going to be sped through and I'm not gonna be able to cover all of, the, uh, all of the details of each one of these parts. I'm gonna be putting up, a, um, this, this repair is probably gonna be part of the course that I'm going to have online um, so look out for that. It may be a while um, for me to get all the material together um, uh, for that course, but it'll be part of that. Um, the next thing I use is I use a technique with this thin piece of plastic to help separate the glass from the force touch without damaging it. It's fairly tricky to do, especially on this particular model because the ceramic it has a tighter fit to the glass than on the uh, aluminum models, for example. Um, but carefully removing shards that I can remove, uh, we'll wait. We'll make our way around with uh, these different methods using different sets of tweezers um, and that uh, the plastic piece. Now this part is really time-consuming and tedious, and each uh, each shard it's 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 imperative that each shard is removed carefully because uh, because it is glass and they are sharp. They do have the tendency to damage things as removed. Um, you may see that I'm not using any heat in this process. I find that anytime heat is used, it makes things worse because what you're doing is you're, uh, because the layers are so thin, not only can you de delaminate the digitizer um, and hurt it in the process, you can also start to delaminate the layers in the force touch and you can, you can break that seal between the force touch and the frame and uh, you can um, delaminate the layers of the force touch that allow it to have function. And so by doing it cold, I'm able to maintain uh, that, uh, that function without having to replace it in the end, which would cause for me for, to uh, have to do extra work and creating that second seal. Now carefully working the, the piece of plastic, I can try to maneuver it around the edges, and making sure I'm not damaging the display flex cables and the touch flex cables. And then uh, here, 
you can see I lift the screen a little. This gives me a little bit uh, better access points into uh, removing the uh, display uh, from the force touch and frame. Um, it's tricky, tedious, and things can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing. And so you haven't done this, you know, type of repair before. Uh, you know, either take take an hour or two to do this part, like most people, you know, like it takes most people who do it you know, uh, carefully enough, um, or or to just send it to me, for example, for repair or anyone else that that can do that. Um, there's a if you go and. In the description, you'll see where to uh, my website where you can check out how to ship it to me if you need that repair done. Next, I'm going to carefully separate the cables from the back of the display um, and uh, remove the uh, uh, the stickers that cover the uh, up the connectors. The uh, series five stickers are a little bit uh, um, more sensitive than even the series four, which were fairly sensitive, so they tend to tear a little bit. Um, um, and they're really sticky, and so uh, getting them out of the way is, is necessary. And using a bit of uh, controlled force, you can pull the connectors out, and uh, we'll have to clean up the uh, force touch uh, before the end of this repair. Next, we're going to move on to separating the glass from the display. And uh, I'm showing everyone how, I, how we do that, how the techniques that we use here at the course it's fairly tricky to maneuver the wire in the correct way to cut the display off without damaging the force touch. Here you can see we're all working on uh, uh, perfecting using the wire and other other techniques that we're using to get the displays off and to clean up the force touch and uh, get the, the watch ready for, for repair. If you want to uh, join a future course, just email me or visit my website. Uh, all right, so manipulating the wire very carefully around each uh, each corner and the edge without catching any of the glass. This is tricky, but a uh, different technique can be applied to remove the glass uh, from the display and digitizer without damaging anything. It takes a, a bit of a... Um, experience to be able to do this successfully every time. All right, now we have successfully removed the glass. And here we're left with the display. And it's got the lines from uh, where we were working with the wire. And then a little bit of adhesive that we can gently rub off. Sometimes there's more adhesive left than this, and so it takes a little longer to clean the, the, the screen after, but sometimes you get lucky and you get most of it. And that all has to do with the prep work that you put into it. All right, so let's get some um, acetone here. Let's clean this and make it look shiny again. There we go. See how shiny that's getting. All of those like what looked like lines like scrapes are gone. Some more adhesive in the corner there. There we go. So what you want to see when you're done is you want to see this copper border all around the screen except for a little section right here where it'll actually say. I wonder if we can focus on that. It actually has an inscription on it, but typically just a bunch of numbers. The part number for. Uh, I guess for Apple's reference or something. But yeah, we are, we've gotten all of the adhesive off. 
and all of the streaks and smart marks off all we need to do now is install the new glass so let's do that all right the first thing i'm going to do is uh, prop up my screen on the little stand here it's made of wax and it'll allow me to uh, clean without moving or touching the top of the display and once i have it clean free of dust fingerprints smudges smears streaks things like that i'm going to apply a little bit of loca now loca is a liquid optical clear adhesive and then installing the glass at a slight angle uh, carefully lowering down the other side i'm able to get the loca to stick to the glass without leaving any bubbles this is tricky to get the amount of loca right if you use too little it's not going to spread evenly to the to all four corners if you use too much then it can spill around to the back and it can actually uh, get into the connectors and damage the display once i've centered the display with the glass under my microscope, making sure it's perfectly aligned, I'm going to use a UV light, which cures the loca, and I'm going to also cure the back a, a little bit, and then we're going to move that over into um, a, a better UV light and let it sit there and basically bake uh, for enough time so that it cures. Say hi to the camera, you guys. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put it in there. I'll turn that guy on. Enjoying the course so far, you guys? Absolutely. Very informative. How many watches have you guys fixed? Let's see, collectively, how many have we done? Two. What? You've done two. You've done two ish. Two ish. You've done three? Yeah. yeah. Two and a half, yeah. All right. Here, you guys can see the inside. Not a whole lot has changed on the inside visually from the Series 4. Uh, there's a few different things, but yeah, so you can see Series 5, 44 millimeter ceramic. Yeah, it's heavy. It's a lot heavier than than the other watches. All right, we're gonna take the display. I'm gonna carefully uh, look at it and clean up any edges that I need to clean up. And if you uh, feel like I'm going too fast, uh, don't worry, I do, will have um, a course that'll contain all of this and a uh, detailed description of what's going on throughout the entire process. We're gonna carefully insert all the connectors and I found a little bit of the sticker and I was getting in the way of me sticking the connector in there, so we're going to have to push that out of the way to get the connector to slide in. Now that I have that out of the way, we will get the connectors in, and they have a little bit of a, a, a wing basically on each side of the flex cable that allows me to put some pressure and push in uh, both sides. Once, it, once they're uh, all the way in, we can uh, flip the connectors down and uh, pull the stickers over top and get it to uh, look as good as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as the connectors are all the way in. And then we're going to move straight to testing it. Let's turn it on. Make sure everything still works. Okay. So let's test for the touch. The display looks good. And let's check the uh, touch all around. It's following me everywhere. Looks really good. And then once we adhere it, we'll test the force touch as well. But we're going to need this glass to be in there perfectly before we do that. So we'll go ahead and install that now all right so for the adhesive I'm going to use it's called EA thousand I've explained it in some of my other videos so if you want a more detailed description as to why I use this go ahead and check them out I'm going to apply an even bead all the way around the border so that we can get the best seal as we can with uh, this water resistant 
adhesive. After pushing down the screen, making sure that it's uh, uh, completely down on all sides and corners, I'm going to carefully go around and clean up any of the adhesive that has spilled out or ended up uh, between the crack there and uh, make it look as good as new. I take my time here, especially with a watch that's this nice and this expensive to make sure that it looks as uh, new as it can possibly look. Working on the ceramic model is much more difficult than working on any of the other models. However, the repair is very similar, uh, so I don't know why Apple charges 800 Thanks so much for watching you guys, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and share it with anyone else you think might be interested. Let's test the force touch, that works, test the touch all around, just make sure everything's still good, looks great. Give it a like if you, uh, if you enjoyed watching.